Good morning, welcome to another video, and today is a big day. So it marks the start of my test period. Over the next three days, I'm gonna test my maxes for my squat, my bench press, and my deadlift, and today is squat day. So I'm going for a 600 pound squat for the first time ever. I'm gonna try and squat 600 pounds, which is 272 and a half kilograms. It's obviously a massive, massive milestone. I've been chasing for a long time now, so I'm pretty excited. I mean, not ordinarily, I'll be really nervous. I tend to get really, really nervous before test times and like obviously competitions and stuff, but today, I'm feeling pretty calm. I feel quite at ease and kind of happy with things, so that's obviously a good sign, I think. Um, I've got some breakfast. I've got, uh, what do you start at this? Just like a bowl of muesli. Pretty boring, but quite calorific. A banana, and then just some water, because I try and drink loads and loads when I'm testing. I try and get kind of almost bloated and feel quite full, because I feel like it makes my uh, my mechanics kind of more advantageous. Um, I'm not going to go to the gym for another probably three and a half hours, so I'm going to hang around for a bit. I've got some work to do, I've got to make two programs, so I'm going to get on with that now, have my breakfast, and then, uh, I don't know, just kind of buy my time, I guess. And that will do. Um, I've done one and a half programs, I'll finish the other one in a bit. Uh, if you're wondering, by the way, you might not have heard it, but <clears throat> there was a incredibly high-pitched beaver-like sound for a lot of that emanating from down here. Excuse me, what are you doing? Are you camouflaged with this zebra? Is this your brother? Is this your brother? Is it? Anyway, um, I am uh, going to go probably grab another decaf coffee and just try and relax upstairs. I'm starting to get, now I'm thinking about it more, I'm starting to get a little bit uh, nervous. So I like to kind of like, I don't know, distract myself uh, and just kind of, I don't know, think about other stuff. Because otherwise I just end up like sweating out and being a, a weirdo. This is number three. <clears throat> so my hydration level's pretty freaking high right now. I'm going to down this. I'm going to eat this banana, and then it is time to go to the gym. Um, I am starting to get quite nervous now. Like The thought of squatting 600 pounds is kind of freaking me out, but at the same time, I sound more excited than nervous. Um, so, yeah, I've just kind of been like relaxing for the last kind of couple of hours, uh, trying not to think about it, but it's time to go now. So, uh, before I get to the gym, I need to make a quick pickup. <laughs> That's right, I got some monster. I know it's a bit of a stereotype, but I want the caffeine so that I'm feeling good. Um, if you are, if you've been following me recently, you will know that I've cut caffeine out entirely from my diet for the last three weeks. So drinking this might just kill me, but let's hope it doesn't happen. Um, right, let's get to the gym and let's freaking squat 600 pounds.
coming in so frigging close. God damn it, like, I'm not gonna be annoyed. 265 kilos, 584 pounds is a PR, and I'm freaking delighted with that. To get a PR at any time is amazing, obviously. For a squat PR, I'm really, really pleased, but it's just so frustrating because that 600 pound squat was there. Like, I don't know if my mindset was right. I don't know, like, I unracked it and it felt so ridiculously heavy. I was kind of having doubts. And then watching the footage back, I'm that close. Like if I had literally risen about half an inch or an inch more, <clears throat> I would have got it. Um, but on the plus side, I got a freaking awesome squat fail out of it. Um, if you've watched my channel for a while, you remember back in the real old days, I used to train in a really, really crappy gym and I was dumping bars like every week. So it was quite nice to have a little kind of trip down memory lane there. Um, but yeah, squat PR, I'm really, really pleased. Um, I think also to be fair, I changed squat bars because the other one was bent. So I started using the bar today and it's not an Alico. <laughs> And it was kind of flexing a bit, so if you watch the footage, like the bar was kind of bowing a little bit, and I don't know if that kind of threw me out, because if you watch the 265 that I got, I almost went up in installments, I think the bar was bending a bit, but I'm not making excuses. Uh, missed 600 pounds, it wasn't there today, but I'll take a PR for sure. Uh, now, I obviously have not eaten enough food today, because I'm still testing tomorrow and the day after, so I need to get some easy calories, and what better way to get easy calories than McDonald's? Hello, I'm Fred. Hello, Thanks for Yes, can I please get um, a large Big Mac meal? What do you? Uh, with a chocolate milkshake, please. Yeah, thank you. Uh, but can the burger have just cheese and ketchup in it, please? And then can I also just get a double cheeseburger by itself, again with just cheese and ketchup in it, please? Yeah, thank Just that, thanks, mate. I'm excited! So here's the food that I got. Uh, the other cheeseburger is hiding away down there. Looking at a solid, I don't know, with a drink as well, probably approaching 2,000 calories. And I'll eat this in like five minutes pretty friggin' easily. Also got some ketchup, because in my 20K challenge, I got being berated loads of times for not getting sauce, because to be fair, that was a terrible, terrible shout. Also, quick blast on the plast. Look at that, if you can see it. That weird, ginormous hippo. Now, if you are an old school subscriber and you can remember seeing that bad boy in my, I think it was my 15k challenge, then give this video a like because that was a, like a long time ago. That'd be pretty freaking cool if you've seen that. Uh, also, before I eat this, I wanted to quickly talk about that fail. So I watched the fail back a couple of times. Firstly, it's pretty cool. Uh, secondly, some of you might be, if you're, new to, if you're new to my channel, you might be thinking like, what are you doing dropping that much weight on the floor? Um, quite simply, it's the best way to go, right? So back in my old gym, I used to do it all the time. Uh, the problem is that if you squat in a rack, um, and you dump the bar on the rack, it bends the bar. I've bent two bars in the past from dumping them on a rack. If you drop it on the floor, as long as the floor is like you know, fairly good, it's not gonna damage the floor, it's not gonna damage the equipment, is the best way to go. Obviously, in, the, in an ideal world, you'd have a spotter or a team of spotters, and they'd catch you and you'd put it back on the rack, but there was no one in the gym today suitable to do that, and to be honest, I'd rather just not stress about people doing that and just dump it myself, and that's why I did it. I wouldn't advise that you just go and do it yourself like right now, but if you practice it, it is, it is in my opinion the best way to go. It's very, very safe. Like you simply let the bar roll down your back and you jump forwards out of the way and there is pretty minimal risk. Um, all I would say is obviously practice it with a lighter weight first because if you go for a squat max and dump it and kill yourself, I'm not liable. Anyway, let's eat some food. Um, excuse me. Ready? <laughs> Is that funny? You're becoming quite ticklish. <gasps> ah, 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 ah. <sniffs> oh, that wasn't very nice, was it? Okay, so, um, switch. So I have uh, just had a meeting, a very productive meeting with a financial advisor. That was quite interesting and intriguing. Um, I've been hanging out, I've had a decaf coffee, I haven't eaten anything else to speak of because I have no need. Um, I will probably catch up in a minute though on some cows. Uh, the next priority on my list is to cut my hair because quite frankly, it looks absurd. So um, rather than show you the whole laborious process, I'll do it for you in two seconds. Ta-da! Pretty freaking sweet, hey? Um, anyway, a lot of time has passed. Um, I definitely need to get some calories in to get ready for tomorrow. So I'm basically gonna have some dinner, have a massive dessert, and then just rest up for bench press testing tomorrow. Speaking of that, what I would do uh, is probably put like a, a powerlifting total video up. So I'll put my squat, my bench press, and my deadlift all together after they happen in the video. So obviously keep your eyes peeled for that. But in terms of this video, this is where it's gonna end, my friend. So I sincerely hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you tomorrow.